somebody shot out of their house and said, oh my God, I've got to send an email. Boy, I wish I had a computer. Wait, there's computers for rent at Lucky Dave's. I can run down the street and send my email there at 2.20 in the morning. Good morning, everyone. Dave from the Wee Hours here, back with some more Sim Casino here in Lucky Dave's, and I've got some plans. I know everyone will be very excited about this. It always goes well when I've got plans. Many of my plans for today involve some minor adjustments to things. We could do with a bit of an expansion, but we can't really afford to do that right now. I'm only sitting on about 70k. That's not an unlimited amount of money. So I want to do some minor adjustments to see if we can kind of help our money situation along a little bit. I've got three areas that I want to look at. I want to look at the slot machines, I want to look at our business center, and I want to look at our staff. So let's start with contestant number one, our slot machines. Right now, these are penny slots. People are paying all of one cent to play Elven Forest. I think we can do a little bit better than that. So if I bump this up, I'm not going to go nuts right now. I just want to see how this is is going to fly. If I bump this up to say a quarter, a quarter, just 25 cents to play Elven Forest. And you know what? I'm going to apply that to all in this row. There we go. So theoretically, they've all just changed to Elven Forest too, but that's basically fine. This Elven Forest, yeah, this and this Elven Forest, they're all 25 cents now. Okay. It's 25 cents to play Elven Forest in this row. I want to go over to the slot machine that I put in the sports book. How about this was, I don't know if this is going to fly. How about this one was a dollar? How about this was a dollar? We'll see if that flies. We'll see if people still keep playing that. And I'd like to add, sooner rather than later, some more slot machines in the sportsbook area. My basic goal for slot machines is if there's empty space somewhere in Lucky Dave's, you're getting a slot machine put there. Because that's just like a regular casino. There's no dead space in a casino. You're going to shove something in there where people can depart their money into your hands. So if we've got some empty space, I'd like to see some slot machines in there. And on that, actually, I've got some dead space over here that I think we can work with. Now, this is going to get a little bit fussy because a lot of people are probably going to get frustrated that I have to destroy the slot machine that they're currently sitting at. I would love a way to move things. I'd like to be able to just move this over rather than dismantling it and then putting it back up again. But we are going to get rid of... I'm very, very sorry. There are other slot machines here at Lucky Dave's. Possibly have a drink at the Mulligan at Lucky Dave's if you want to do that. Uh, so I am going to... Let's see what I want to do. I was thinking about just copying a row, but no, no, we'll just put up some new ones. That's fine. Uh, so give me my gambling stuff, please. Let's put up some slot machines back to back here. This was kind of dead space that I originally put in there because day one of Sim Casino, we had some pretty serious pathing issues. Oh, hang on, hang on. I haven't done the right chairs for that. Hang on, hang on. No, no, no. We use... Wait, which chairs we use? We use these chairs, and P.S., please do that to all in the same row. Ah, I didn't do it to the chairs. All right, fine. Chairs, chair, chair, chair. Okay, there we go. So slot machines back up. Chairs, what they should be. And let's, uh, how about this one was a nickel? I'm just going to see if this is going to fly. I know I can bump it up a lot more. Several people in the comments have said, wow, you should totally jack up your slot machine prices. I'm just kind of test driving it right now. I'm just kind of test driving this and seeing what people will put up with. So I had planned that dead space to be just that because day one of Sim Casino, there were some pretty serious pathing issues. A lot of those have been corrected. And if they're not corrected, we've got the teleport button now. So if people do get stuck, we can live with it. Now, I wonder if if the sign for the mulligan at Lucky Dave's is going to be a problem when I try to put up slot machines over here. Well, let's find out. How about we did Gold Finder? Uh, yeah, no, that's fine. That's totally fine. We can do Gold Finder right here. The sign is not a problem. The sign is kind of hidden now. I don't like that. I'm not a fan. I'd like to see less hidden sign of the mulligan at Lucky Dave's. People need to know that the mulligan at Lucky Dave's is open for business. 
and slot machine, slot machine, slot machine, slot machine, slot machine, slot machine. If you're in Lucky Dave's, you have no shortage of slot machines around here. Sorry if we're doing a little rapid zooming in and out. The uh, mouse that I use to record is on its way out the door, so it's being a little fidgety when I'm zooming. I apologize for any motion sickness that people might be getting right now. Okay, that's tweak number one. That's fine-tune adjustment number one. I'm just going to... Let's try these at a quarter. No, a quarter, not a not a nickel, a quarter. And apply that to all in the row? Yes. Yeah, okay, do that. Let's see if it flies. Let's see if people are still going to play the slots. Now, the problem with all of those slot machines is now I'm effectively broke. I am down to 36k. That is not enough money. We're going to have to chill a little bit on construction at this point. Holy McMoly, where did all you guys come from? Where did you guys just come from? We just got a rush of people. Well, people are over at the new slots playing them. Nobody seems to have a problem with that 25 cents over there. So we might be onto something there. So I'm effectively broke. 36K is not enough to do any major renovations here. So we're going to have to go back to fine tuning and tweaking. The next thing I want to look at is staff management. Now, last video we did on Sim Casino, I tried to set up a different staff schedule because nobody's here at night. Nobody's here. The place is empty in the middle of the night. And by middle of the night, I mean early in the morning. And I'm paying these people. All of these trusted staff, I'm paying them to stand there at an empty blackjack table. So we had a bash at staff management and adjusting their schedule. It didn't seem to really take. So I adjusted the schedule, but when I X'd out of it, it went back to the default schedule of daytime, which is 24 hours a day. They're here literally all the time. I noticed when I came in today that they are now on the just get some work done schedule. So yeah, the blackjack table, number 649, which is my third favorite blackjack table. I got to say there's better ones than that, but 649 is a very good one, is now on the just get some work done Monday to Friday, which means they basically tap out of here at about 10 o'clock. So it is quarter of six now. We're going to see what happens at 10 o'clock tonight and see if all of these people go home. If they do, fantastic. The problem has fixed itself and then I can sort of more fine tune it. What I'd like to see is one roulette table and one blackjack table open at night and then everyone else can go home. That's my goal. So there will be something for people to do if they come in, but we're not really going to have, we're going to run on a skeleton crew basically. Well, I'm not noticing any visible downturn in the population at the slot machines. I think people are eating up these new fees rather nicely. So let's keep moving on that. How about Ring of Fortune over here in the very weird corridor area that we've got going on here? Let's, um, let's go a little nuts here. How about this one was a dollar? And we'll apply that to all in the row. And let's see if you guys bite on that. I know you were playing that for a penny five seconds ago, sir, but now it costs a dollar. How much money have I got? 37k. All right, I've basically sort of vaguely made enough for a new slot machine over in the sports book area. I'm not thrilled with the sports book. I was hoping for more out of this. I mean, there are people in here playing it. I'm not going to demolish it, but I was hoping for more action over here. But I will throw in another slot machine because again if you've got dead space you're going to be playing a slot machine here at lucky dave's get a chair going for that please pop that down right there and uh what are we charging for this one this is a dollar okay so let's have this one also be a dollar let's see if people are going to bite on this so i'm just checking my staff schedule indeed just get some work done they should be leaving at 10 p.m that's the idea. The floor staff, the trusted staff, should be heading out the door at 10 p.m. saying, we're done for the night. There's nobody here at Lucky Dave's. We're out. And therefore, I won't be paying them overnight until they come back in in the morning. What I'm going to do, I'm going to kick it into higher gear here. I want to kind of skate through until 10 p.m. without really doing anything and get a feel for where we're at, get a feel if these guys actually go home. And if they do, I can start fine-tuning it even more. Okay, coming up on 10 p.m. here, in my dream world, 
all of these trusted staff walk out the door in four minutes. Like, yep, sorry, I know you're in the middle of a game, but uh, my shift is over. I am out of here. That's what I'm hoping for. Let's see what happens in, well, one minute here. Guys, I need you to leave. I pay you guys a lot of money to be doing this. Okay, 10 o'clock. What do we got? Any Anyone want to leave? Your shift is over, sir. Sir, your shift is over. Okay, I will admit I had to take a break and go back and rewatch Penj at the Geek Cupboard's video about how to do this. It is, it's not self-explanatory by any stretch of the imagination, but it, it is fairly straightforward when you think about it. So here we go again. I think this is the correct way to do it. So on the just get some work done schedule, which is 7 a.m., to 10 p.m., there is one person, number one, over all these tables. There is one person at all of these tables. On the daytime schedule, which is technically in the middle of the night, but we're not going to talk about that, there is nobody on this roulette, nobody on this blackjack, nobody on this blackjack, there we go, and nobody on this blackjack. So there will be one person on this roulette and this blackjack on the daytime schedule and nobody else. And then if I go back... Just get some work done. Yep, everything is fully staffed. Okay, I am about 73% confident that that has now been done correctly. We'll keep an eye on it as things go by, but that could really free up some staff in terms of not paying their wages. And by free up staff, I mean free up my money. Well, I just kicked it into high gear for a little bit just to allow everyone to reset themselves. And I, I think progress is being made here. The two tables that I want manned overnight are indeed manned, and the others are not. And I think it's worthwhile keeping these up. I mean, this guy just came over to play a little roulette. This guy's playing a little roulette. I saw there were some people playing jack, blackjack a little bit earlier. So there are people here in the middle of the night to justify having two tables open, but not all six tables. I think we're on to something here. Okay, how much money do I have? Virtually none. Virtually none, Dave. I could think about doing the exact same thing to the betting window in the sports book because there's nobody there in the middle of the night. Ah, you know, er, I'm going to actually I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to take their schedule down to the just get some work done schedule because I think I don't really think there's anyone going to be in here at this time of night. And it's just money. I don't need to be paying this guy. So uh, let's just make sure we do this daytime. There is one person here. Just get some work done. There are zero people here. All right, that should do the trick. We'll just, we're going to close the sports betting. There's, who's playing sports in the middle of the night? Anyway, it's dark out. You can't see the balls or the horses or anything like that. What is encouraging is there is some of the business people in here at two o'clock in the morning. Somebody shot out of their house and said, oh my God, I've got to send an email. Boy, I wish I had a computer. Wait, there's computers for rent at Lucky Dave's. I can run down the street and send my email there at 2.20 in the morning. I think, I think the business center is pretty much the license to print money around here. Because as far as I know, there's no staff. There's no staff connected to this. It just sort of runs itself. I mean, maybe, I don't know, maybe the housekeeping staff go in there and clean up. I have no idea. I've never seen them go in there. But I think this is the license to print money. And I had a couple of commenters chime in on the business center and suggest some other ways of doing it. I like the individual offices, but the more and more I was looking at one particular commenter's comment, I think we can make some changes to this to make it even more profitable. Yeah, quarter seven in the morning, and there's a huge business meeting going on in the conference room, a massive business meeting. One of the comments did say, maybe not so much with the conference room, because these guys spend a long time in here. Whereas the computer people, they're in and out. They come in, they shoot out an email, they print something out, and they're out the door. I believe it about six bucks a pop, which ain't nothing. The conference people are in there longer, but I really, really like the look of the conference table. So um, we're probably keeping that, but we are going to get some adjustments made to the computer room. Now, the thing is, it's seven o'clock in the morning. Where's my staff for the table games? Because they should be showing up. Maybe it just takes them a little bit longer to get in. They might be taking the bus or something. I don't pay them that much, especially after the wage cut of not being here overnight, sucking up wages that I can't afford to pay you. Aha! They're here. They're here. Okay. I think we're getting the hang of scheduling here. 
All the table games are now manned. So yeah, they're on at 7 in the morning, but I think they take the bus to get in here, and it took them a little bit. All right, I think we are... We've wrapped our head around the staff scheduling. Good. Okay, excellent. Now, how much money have I got? 38K. I am going to tentatively make some adjustments to the computer room. I like the individual offices. I think the individual offices are fun. And I looked at a comment and said, hey, why don't you do it this way? I thought, ah, that's a really, really good idea. But I really just like the look of the individual offices. However... I've had a bit of a different idea as to what we can do with this. So I'm going to slow it down. And then I need to know two things, basically. I need at all times to know how much money I have. I need to know how much the bar costs me. It's only 4800 bucks, he says, with only 37000 in his bank account. It's only 4800 bucks. All right. How much are all the, the businessy things that we do, like the computer tables? 1200 that, 600 for a printer. Okay, I need somebody printing out things 100 times to make that pay for itself. That's actually not that bad. All right, we're going to do some things here. We're going to. I had a thought after the commenter had said, basically, why don't you just make one big computer room, you silly, silly person? That way you can line up a bunch of tables and a bunch of printers, and then it can just be more efficient. And I thought, no, nah, I really like the individual offices. But then I thought about the mulligan at Lucky Dave's. And I thought, well, first of all, this is very low effort money. Yeah, we're paying the guy to be here. That's fine. But the mulligan does see customers pretty much all day, even in the middle of the night. There might be somebody sucking back a drink at the mulligan at Lucky Dave's. So what if we combined low effort money with the business center with low effort money with the bar i've got a plan and unfortunately dude at the printer plan number one involves actually dismantling everything that exists in here i'm very very sorry actually i'm just going to turn it on real quick so i get your six bucks that's pretty much what i'm looking for here i will dismantle the rest of these while i'm doing it i just want your six dollars for whatever it is you're printing my paper is very very good. It's very good. Oh, there's money there. Guys, there's money there. Yeah, Vault Lady, could you go get the money, please? Uh, go get the money off the floor. Yeah, sorry, you're taking a wicked long time to print things, dude, so you're you're done. Yeah, I forgot there's actually money in there, and we need to go get that. I'm just going to give my Vault person time to go get the cash literally off the floor, and in the meantime, we're going to, if I can afford to, and I think I can, it's not going to be a ginormous addition to Lucky Dave's, but it is going to be an addition. Let's do, here's how I want this to go. How much would it cost me to do that? 1300 bucks. Oh, that's, that's fine. You know what? Take it out a little bit more then. That's 1500 and I'm still getting done what I want to get done. How about we up the ante? See what I did there? Gambling term. Ha! Up the ante to 1700 bucks. Okay. Okay. Throw it into pause mode. I need to make some decisions here. Let me, Mr. Gorbachev, tear down these walls. So that goes and that goes. All right. I also, it's not that I don't need this. I actually, I don't think I need this wall. I'm going to take all of that down and see how this goes. And then I want actually this floor to go all in here. Yeah, the floor is relatively inexpensive. And then I want to eyedropper this wall, just so I don't, um, if I shift click it, then I'm going to pay to paint the entire wall. Only want to paint the bits that aren't painted. Thank you very much. All right, all of that. And that bit. And, oh, now it's going into the corridor. Uh, er, how do I want this to go? Oh no, what do I do? I've got two walls that I like. Well, I'm going with the yellow wall, but now that I think about it, I don't really need this wall. I put this up as kind of a, you know, to, to define the corridor and the business center, but I don't think we really need that. All right, 
this is step one of my plan. We're seeing how this goes. This is my big plan that I've had. Oh, I do need to. Uh, yeah, no, I can't. I can't let that lift like that. What were we thinking there, Dave? No, 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 no. Get get that wall done. Get get all of this done. We need to have the proper walls outside. Oh, and there's floor there. Oh God, I've got to fix everything. Okay, everything's basically fixed at this point, to the best of my knowledge. So I need. Uh, what is the bar under comfort? Yeah, it's comfort. Oh no, it doesn't quite fit. Oh, it was going to fit perfectly. Okay, everybody hang on. I've got to make everything a tiny, tiny bit bigger. Okay, there we go. Now we're getting somewhere here. Now we're getting somewhere. Bar fits in there just fine. You'll see the plan come together. I've had a plan and I'm sticking to it. So what I want to do is a bunch of computer tables. I don't want them to go too far close to the bar, but basically one, two, Three, I could have made this whole thing bigger. I really could have. One, two, two, three. All right, line up some printers for me, please. There, 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 and there. Don't blow all your money, Dave. Don't go completely crazy here. But how about we squeeze maybe one or two more desks like that? Okay, so what I'm working on here, instead of a business center, is more like an internet cafe kind of thing, where you can come in, you can casually use the computer. If you want to do businessy things, that's cool. But if you want to play Call of Duty and have a drink at the bar, you can do that as well. I just have to zone this out as a business center. So get me to my zones, please. Zones, zones, zones. Somebody remind me where zones live. Oh yeah, right in front of your face, Dave, where they've always lived. So let's make all of this. Hopefully this is going to work without walls, right? Does that work without walls? And also turn your zones on so you can see it. Uh, I, I can't see any reason. Does this need to be inside? Fully enclosed space with a door. I'm pretty sure it is. I'm pretty sure it is. It is indoors and it is a minimum size. I just don't know what they're going to qualify as a fully enclosed space. It is definitely inside. It's not, it's not outside. So let's see how this goes. Now, unfortunately, it is saying fully enclosed space. Darn it. I really had my hopes set on that. I've been planning that for like a whole evening. No, really, I have. I, I sort of sit around and think, what am I going to do in that game today in Sim Casino? Um, now weirdly, you're using, well, you're perusing rather. You're perusing. You're not using it. I don't think you can either. All right. Well, are you going to let me put up some walls here? Is that a thing you're going to let me do? I think you will. If we put a wall up here and a wall up here, and then we put... I know, I know you're stuck. It's going to be fine, dude. Just relax about things. If we put up a door here and here, does that work? Do you like that better? Okay, the computer room is working. It is working. It's not It's not my ideal. I really wanted that to be a big open space. And now the bar doesn't make any sense. It just doesn't. All right. I, I had a plan and it's not working out. So we're, we're going to actually dismantle that. We're going to dismantle that and we're going to open this room up more. So we'll open the whole room up and we'll say the whole thing is a computer room. Again, it's it's not my aesthetic ideal. I really had a plan of like an internet cafe kind of thing going on over there. But it is what it is. I'd actually like to move these desks off that wall. But I'm kind of low on the old money thing. However, there's a bunch of people here. There's a bunch of people. And I can just kind of keep adding desks and printers as we go along. Speaking of which, speaking of that whole scenario that I've just done there. How are we on our advertising? Are we done with that? I think we've got, do we have one more day on that? I'm, I, I don't know. One day left or no, no, no. I, I think we're done. I think we advertise that to the business people. We may do that again. I'm not sure. Now I'm really low on the money, but I do want to try and pretty this up a little bit. Let's get, well, you know, some decoratives in here because obviously I never spotted, I never even saw this, that all the wood frames have different pictures. I just thought it was the, the one thing that I was looking at down here. I never saw these had different pictures. I'd love to see some larger or smaller frames. That would be nice. But how about we had some nice pictures here for you guys. So one there and maybe that one could be 
over there. Pretty to place up a little bit as best we can. Yeah, I'd love to see these in bigger sizes, like something that would really dominate the wall there. I can't do that, right? I can't, there's no, no thing up here where I can make this a different size. I don't immediately see anything like that. All right, what else? I mean, I've got a little tiny bit of money. Should I put in more computery stuff or more slot machines or just hang tight? I'm mostly thinking to myself right now. So I was kind of having a peek through guest experience, seeing if anyone is getting super, super fussy about the new prices on the slot machine. I, I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing it. Everyone seems to be just sucking up those new numbers just fine. So I think, wow, look at the business customers we're attracting. 43 new business customers today. One is on their way right now. Yeah, I think the business center is the way it's just, it's just free money. It's basically free money. After the machines and the desks have paid for themselves, that's all profit at that point. I don't see any staff interaction with that apart from, you know, the security guard lady going and picking up the money when the money thing is full. Apart from that, this is really low effort money. So everyone seems to be pretty satisfied. So what if, what were we charging on this one? 25 cents? Okay. How about we tried a dollar? How about we tried a dollar on that? And then let's go ahead and make sure we apply that to all of those in that row. And way down at the bottom here, this is a somewhat worrying number. Average cash spent per guest, five bucks. People are coming in and spending five bucks at Lucky Dave's and leaving. I don't like that one bit. I see, again, the sports book. There's nobody doing, well, all right, there's not nobody doing. There are some people betting on sports, but there's also somebody over at the slot machine here. I think I could, I could squeeze another one in there. No, no, chill on the money, Dave. Chill on the money. I'd like to see people spending more at Lucky Dave's. Now, that being said, that number is probably not updated since we started bumping up the numbers on all the slot machines. So that may change over time, but I'd like to see people spending a lot more than five bucks around here. I mean, the business center is just jammed. It's just jammed. There's there's a guy waiting to get into a conference. There's a guy just hanging out waiting to get involved in that conference. There's plenty of people in here. There's a whole host of people that are coming in there. I am going to do, not a huge one, but I'm going to do a little bit more advertising for the business people. So I want business people just one day. Just one day. I guess if this is checked, we must still be running it. I thought we did that for two days, and I feel like that should be over, but maybe not. Time is a very fluid concept in a casino. I've got to realize this is only day four. Lucky Dave's has only been open for day four. I really did just turn that advertising on, and I believe I ran it for two days. I'm going to let that run out before I start another one, and I'm going to target the business customers again. This is just seems like very low effort money. Now, speaking of bringing in a little more money everywhere, I've um, never messed with the prices at the Mulligan at Lucky Dave's. I've got to move that sign. That is making me mental that it is just tucked behind the, the slot machines there. So we could go up on this. Everyone's wicked happy with it. Like 94% on a $2 snack. How about, how about it was a little bit more? That'll bring it down to 86%. That's manageable. All right, 78% for a $3 snack is... I'm comfortable with that. Let's not push that too far. But I bet we can get this up to how about 450 for a soda? No, back it off a little bit more. 80% satisfaction for a $4 soda. I'm in. Now you are you guys are universally and unanimously happy to pay $5 for a beer. So how about it was $6 for a beer? How about a bottle of wine? Well, 13 bucks on a bottle of wine. How about maybe no? Oh, 15 brings it down too much. Okay. 14 bucks for a bottle of wine. Good. All right. Little bit more money. Fine tuning everything. That's what I'm trying to do here today. Just little tiny things to bring in more money. And I'm going to try and offset those raised prices a little bit. So we can, like any good casino, we can comp people. We can give people some free complimentary services if they're having, well, either a very good day or a very bad day. And in this version, a very, very bad day. So people playing blackjack. Here's the deal. If you lose more than $10 on blackjack, you can have a free drink at the Mulligan at Lucky Dave's. You can have a free drink. I could bump that up a little bit. I could bump that up. Like if you, 
Ooh, I can really fine tune that. How about if you lost more than $15? Okay, well, 16, but I don't feel like fidgeting with it a little anymore. So if you lose more than $16, or at least $16, you can have a free drink at the Mulligan at Lucky Dave's. That will probably, I'm going to guess, make people less frustrated, and it may encourage them to come back. I don't know, but I certainly would be pretty happy if like, ah, I just blew 16 bucks, but hey, you know what? I got a free drink at the Mulligan at Lucky Dave's. Now, I've said it a couple of times, but given the fact that it is our prime time right now, it is 5, 543, and our major hours are 5 to 9, almost every single slot machine is full. I don't think people are having any problem paying a little bit more to play the slots at Lucky Dave's. I think we can bump these up even more. What are we charging for you? Ah, here's my last penny slot, I think. How about this was a quarter? I know it doesn't seem like a lot, but, you know, one penny versus 25 times that amount, that's going to add up over time. And again, apply that to all in the row. And how about these guys over here? Ah, also penny slots. All right. So let's get these. Again, I'm not, not looking to gouge people. I just want to do some test driving on some of these. How about that was just a nickel? There you go. A nickel. That's nothing. I don't even think you can buy anything for a nickel, except maybe another nickel. That's about it. So, And these ones over here, what were we doing? Five cents. How about, do I want to go for a dollar on these? No. 25 cents for that. Apply that to all of those, please. Little tweaks, little adjustments, fine tuning, getting the money up a little bit. While I'm just kind of chilling, I should probably just fix the wallpaper in the corridor here so it matches the main room of the casino, because otherwise I'll have issues all day thinking about the fact that it hasn't been changed. Okay, that and that and that. Okay, that's a little better flow there. I like that, except... You know what? I don't like that. Hang on. Uh, this carpet should really probably be this. Because this is kind of, sort of part of the main casino a little bit. Anyway, that'll be fine. That's all 100% fine. Somebody had mentioned in the comments about um, the, the vault and maybe sort of shifting the vault around or opening stuff up. Um, I, I kind of have a weird long-term plan, if I you know don't go bankrupt first, of moving the vault to a completely different and slightly more secure area that isn't right by the front door. Now, I don't know how robbery works in this game, but I'm going to guess if the bank vault is right next to the front door as it kind of is, that's going to make it super, super easy for a criminal to, you know, flee. They're going to come in, rob the vault, and then just run right out the door. What I'd like to look at doing long term, hopefully we don't have to do that soon, is something way at the back. Like, you know, maybe behind several vault doors really actually make a hardcore casino vault, if that's possible, but more or less away from the from the front door. I think that's the first sensible security step we could be taking is not just having the money right at the front of the house. And just checking again, the schedule is working. It's after hours, and there's only two trusted staff on the floor, one at roulette, one at blackjack. Yeah, there is somebody playing blackjack. I don't want to turn that money away, although realistically, it may not even be paying for that guy. But, you know, satisfaction. I want guests to be happy. You know, they came in to play blackjack, and there's literally nobody staffing the blackjack tables. They're probably going to be sad. I w imagine that would be a hit to their satisfaction. So... These guys may not even be paying for themselves, but I want to keep two tables open, one of each. But it's working. The scheduling is working. Everyone else went home. That's wages I'm not paying for the day. All right, here's the plan. Here's the plan. We're coming up on midnight. I am going to do another walkaway day in Sim Casino. I want to, now that I've, we've made all of these fine-tune adjustments here, paying more for the slot machines, less employee wages, more money being made at the Mulligan at Lucky Dave's. I'm going to go midnight to midnight without buying anything, without building anything, without buying anything, nothing at all. I'm just going to basically walk away from Sim Casino. I'm going to throw a save down, walk away, get a snack, come back at midnight on Saturday and kind of see where we're at money-wise. 
So about 8 o'clock in the morning, more 9 o'clock in the morning, and I noticed a couple of very interesting things. The business customers pour in early. We've already seen that. They're showing up at about 6 o'clock in the morning. What was way more interesting is that when they had done their businessy things down here, several of them went right over to the slot machines or the bar. So they are indeed spending more money while they're here. This is very, very encouraging. Not only is the business center itself low effort money, but then they go out onto the floor and spend some more money there. I'm going to be very interested to see what our numbers are at at the end of today. Okay, so just ticked past midnight here. Let's see how we're doing. The game is still saying that we're technically operated at a loss yesterday. I think we're still doing better, though. I think everything is kind of coming together here, where we are technically starting to sort of vaguely make some money. I think we can fine-tune things some more. I think we can get the slot machines up a little more. We may mess with the staff schedules again, especially because now it's the weekend. I'm going to want to have a weekend schedule for people because that's going to be our busiest time. But I think progress is being made here. I think progress is being made. I'm very happy with where Lucky Dave's is right now. And I think we now have at least a steady stream of income where I can start doing some other expansions. So next time, I think we've got to look at a couple of things. I still want to keep expanding the business center, especially now that I'm seeing that they are going out and spending money on the floor after they're done with their businessy email conferency things. And I think we might want to look at either, I still want a second bar. I really wanted it in the business center. I'd like to get a second bar or we may want to think about the buffet. That's going to be a big infrastructure investment but we may want to think about the buffet. We'll figure it out next time when we come back to Sim Casino. Do please keep the comments coming in, folks. And hey, if you enjoyed the video, do please leave a like down below. It does cheer me up no end when people do that. And if you're new to the channel, maybe just checking it out for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button. See more of this ridiculous nonsense. Until then, I'm Dave. Thank you, as always, for joining me in the wee hours, and we'll see you next time. Bugs are inherently stupid, and they get in places and they can't get out. You know what places they get in? Things that are wide open that don't have screens over them! It's a piece of mesh! We figured this out like a hundred years ago! What is wrong with the British, the Irish? I'm just going to keep shooting Hildegrad until she goes away, which is my response to most nuns, really. So now the pit of death is carbon dioxide, polluted oxygen, polluted water, and urine. I've just made it just a little bit worse for everyone down here.